Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I'm currently in Hotel Marriott Boulevard in Baku and I'm going to give you a tour of this venue because this is the venue for the World Cup, the FIDE World Cup 2023. This hotel is where maximum number of players are staying. This is the hotel where the tournament hall is and so let's get it cracking. Right now we are at the reception here and this is the end main entrance. Uh, so everyone arrives from here and that side is the playing venue. You will come to it but first let's go this side. I want to take you through to the, the place where all the players have food. Often in this uh, sort of reception area uh, or the lobby you will see a lot of players sitting around and um, right now because the game is about to start in less than two hours there are not so many players and uh, right now there we saw Georgian players moving in and right now we are going towards the place where everyone has their food so some players also go this way and eat it here in this space but uh, the main hall is this one and uh, you will see that there is a pretty huge spread for food with uh, salads and desserts And also soup, rice, and the main course. And uh, what I really enjoyed here was actually eating uh, outside. You know, this place here, of course, a lot of players sit here and eat. You could also go outside and eat here and it's very very pleasant yes it's a bit sunny but I love uh, the Sun and I think it's a very nice place now from here you can go two ways you can go to the left or you can go to the right we'll just take a very short tour to the right uh, to just show you where this hotel is located so if you go to the right you will see that you are very close to the boulevard where you can walk in the evening or in the morning it's so beautiful and also you can uh, here look at this you can see the Caspian Sea and there's a very nice place to walk This is what I love about this hotel so much that players are going to have such a wonderful time here. You know, they are going to play. And hopefully, some of them will win, some will lose, but then at the end of the day, they can unwind, they can go and walk. And I think that's the big advantage of having chess tournaments at scenic locations. You know, whether you win or lose, it's very enjoyable to play so here we will now take the left turn and we have uh, Salim and Matthews and this is where some of the chess players, you'll see that chess players are just everywhere in this hotel and not just normal chess players, super elite chess players, one fine uh, day you will bump into Magnus, next day you will bump into uh, Hikaru and so on and Irene, hello, good luck, sorry, yes I'm leaving in an hour, yeah bye, take care. And uh, 
This is where we came from. We're going back. Now we'll go towards the tournament premises. As I said, you can bump into anyone here and there we had Magnus. And now we are going towards the tournament venue. Okay, so this is a place where you can do interviews. This is the place where, you know, all the security guards are being, security personnel are being instructed. From here, all the players enter. And they have to come here. You will see that multiple screens have been set up here for some spectators if they want to watch. But there's no commentary here. You just watch the boards. And when you enter here, Look at this. This is the playing hall and it's huge. It's beautifully done. There are flags of all the countries who are participating here. And then chess boards are also different. Like for example, this one is kind of the plastic chess set. Like it's it has a wooden feel but made up of plastic. But there are also wooden chess sets. Like here there's a wooden chess set. And uh, this is the first table where we'll have Ju Wenjun playing today against Eva Repkova. And we'll have Magnus Carlsen playing here against Levan Pansulai. Just have a look at the board. So you have, these are the pieces, the clock, score sheet pen water and also of course uh, there are cameras here three angles for each board for the live commentary so that's very cool so the top board sit here you have hikaru nakamura who's taking on kartik venkatraman yan nepom nishi fabiano karuana two women boards at the top and then board number five comes here we have uh, Gopa Kumar here. Hello, Gopa Kumar. Hi. Busy times. Busy times. Yes. Here you have board number six, where Wesley So takes on Emre Chan, and we have Anish Giri here, who's going to take on Arseni Nesterov. So today we have uh, 128 plus 64 players. That's in all. Hello, this is Hello. our very good friend from Azerbaijan. Hello, Rahim. Hello. Good day. Nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Very, yes. very big event uh, for in Baku and I think uh, very nice for chess lovers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. See you. And uh, yeah, there, there is where the players' refreshment area is, so all the players can eat something here. Generally, it's filled up with some cookies, biscuits, they can have tea and coffee. And also, they can follow the games here, so some of them can be here and you know you can think a bit but no coffee cups allowed in the playing hall so going out and now we go to the area where you have people in the back end of this tournament who are working across the clock all the time Victor Bolagan here, and 
Now we are going into the VIP area. The VIP area here has very nice we placed chess sets. Uh, there are chess sets here. There are also um, live games and also a very nice place to sit. It's food. And this is the FIDE office. Here are the FIDE officials work from here. This is the media center where you have the media persons working, Lennart, Shahid, Steve Bonhager, everyone here. And we have the arbiters sitting here. Arbiters room. And uh, this one is the commentary room for Azeri language here. This is where that's happening and we also have the English commentary that I did for three days and today Vishy Anand will join in and uh, finally is the broadcast room where you have the actual production and the direction of the entire broadcast that's happening we have Andre here hello Andre hello and, and Mark as well hello Mark hi hello Saga. Mark, uh, it's a very big setup, yes, to broadcast a tournament like this. Yes, because it's a big tournament here, yeah, a lot of players, you need as much uh, cameras as possible. Did you bring this all with you? Yes, all my team bring everything here, yes. I in flight? Or? No, 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 by, by car. By car? <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at this. This is amazing. Yes, and a lot of feet uh, sending to partners. Uh, I mean, just 24 or other partners, so you need to have <laughs> big setup. <laughs> wow, this is amazing! Different views here, and of course, there are more than four to five people who are working here, and this is just tremendous. So, dear friends, this is how a tournament of the magnitude of the World Cup is organized. You know, you need a great hotel, a big hotel, well located, you need space in it, big banquet hall where you can have the playing hall, then you need uh, such rooms where you can have broadcast, commentary, uh, arbiters room, officials room and nice rooms for the player to players to stay, food and so on. So this is what is needed. I hope you had a good time in this venue tour.